guys, it's Blake, and today we're going to be going through the foundations of pop punk and what each song is made of and pretty much how they're made from a music theory standpoint. Before we get into this, I would just like to issue a music theory alert. In case you don't like that, you can go ahead and skip this and just get into the regular video. But for the most part, most pop punk is made in the major scale, which is pretty much the most common scale in Western music. And in that major scale, most pop punk utilizes the first, fourth, fifth, and minor sixth of the major scale. So if we were to take it in the key of D, which the major scale looks like this in, from the fifth fret on the E string it goes. The first of the scale, otherwise known as the root, would be your D chord, which is this. The fourth would be the G chord, which is this. The fifth would be an A. And the sixth is minor, and that is a B minor. If you want to take it from an even more simple perspective, you can say the root is an open string or just any fret in general. In this case, we'll just use an open E, which will be the root. And then your fourth is going to be five frets up. Your fifth is going to be seven frets up. And your sixth is going to be nine frets up. So if that looks better for you, it's the same theoretical idea just in a more simple, kind of easy to understand version. And you can move that around any part of the fretboard to get that same result. And for the most part, progressions utilize those four chords and just swap them around in any particular order. And today I'm going to be showing you those combinations in this video. So let's get into it. I heard you cry loud. Like knives in the back of my 